Hi everyone, so <laughs> I'm trying to speak over the guinea pigs weeping because they're so loud at the minute. Um, today I wanted to show you some updates I've done in my bedroom, aka the pet room. So here is the new setup. This is quite a big change from last time you've seen it. Pingu's in the same place. Pingu is my hamster if you don't know. And then the skinny pigs have swapped places with the gerbils. The gerbils are still in the same habitat but the skinny pigs are in a new cage. I'm just going to go feed them because they are so hungry right now. There you go, there's your breakfast. I need to find a better way to fix this little border thing off. Um, fit it up here. Oh. <laughs> so basically they were living in a pet shop cage before which was a good size it just wasn't very easy to clean and it wasn't the best for interact with them interacting with them and watching them so I moved them into a CNC cage which I absolutely love because it's just so much easier to interact with them keep an eye on them clean them everything is a hundred times easier and this is it equates to the same size as their pet shop cage maybe a tiny bit bigger um, it is well, it's not exactly 120 by 60, it's about 110 by 75 or something, so it does sort of equate to about 120 by 60, um, which is a suitable size for two, even though it is three by two grids, it does actually work out to this space, plus they have an upper level, and also I'm going to be letting them free range once I've added a ramp to get them to the ground level, so... Yeah, as I said, stay tuned till the end for that. So we'll probably start off with Pingu's um, arrangement because he is up at the minute and I want to make the most of him actually being awake. So Pingu lives in an Ikea Detolf, very popular hamster home. <laughs> so I know a lot of people keep their hamsters in the Ikea Detolf. So yeah, it's a really great habitat. And it is a display cabinet, but very easy to modify to a hamster home. And I kept the tops of some old cages, which fit perfectly on here. It's the Fur Plast Juna, I think. Um, I have two different types. One that came with, like, this bar section here. And another one which just has this um, plastic top bit. So, yeah, he seems to love his setup. It's really great that he can have different levels to explore because he just likes to climb up things. Underneath here is just this old playpen, which makes it secure. And then on top of that, I have this wood type stuff coated with like a plastic, so it's basically waterproof. Here you go, Pingu. <laughs> he hasn't worked out that I've got one in my hand. There you go. Aww. So this has four boxes and it's mainly just for like storing away pet things. So here is like all my food ingredients I used to make up their food. Then in here is where I store their food. And then the next one is plastic toys for the hamsters and gerbils and wooden toys for the hamsters and gerbils. I've also got some sand there. Um, this is where I keep the hay for the guinea pigs in this woven basket there. <laughs> you gonna go play with something rather than just chew? I might have to take these bars out actually and just make it like this one because he has a bit of a habit of chewing. So now moving on to the skinny pigs. Well, I've already kind of showed you basically, but I have it lined out with Corex underneath here. This is their fleece area. Then this area they have Megazorb on the ground and this just makes it easier for me to clean. They've got their hammock there which they love to um, sleep on. Hay rack, Bendy Logs Bridge and this super long tunnel. I joined two of them together actually using these cable ties and they just love going up and down this. Hopefully they'll do it later so you can see. And they have a few fleecy items like this snuggly thing and then they have a stool which basically holds up the tunnel. Another fleecy house here which they absolutely love. This is their favourite. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
and they have their bottle down there and I will be showing you at the end as I said how I'm gonna get them up and down so they can have free range time have you stopped chewing at last? <laughs> Finally, I wanted to show you the gerbil setup. So the gerbils were previously up here, the skinny pigs were previously down here, but I wanted to switch and I feel like with the skinny pigs it's better for them to be higher up, for me to interact with them and with the gerbils. Because this lid is so big it was a nightmare to get on and off when it was up there and I just feel like it's better for me to interact with them when they're down here. Plus it's a really good view of them, so I kind of like how it is now. And I think they seem to be really enjoying it. <laughs> Look at Pingu. <laughs> he just fell off. That's just a classic Pingu moment. He has a tendency to fall off things all the time. So I'm hoping the gerbils will wake up soon. I might have to go and wake them up because they're sleeping right now. I didn't think you were going to get up. I'm glad they finally got up. I'm not sure where Sooty is, but yeah, this is Milo. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to say I have I have actually just published my care guide, which is petspalacecareguide.com. So any pet related things, any sort of questions you have, anything, any pet care information you're wanting to research, you will find most things for rabbits, guinea pigs, gerbils and hamsters on there. I have spent a lot of time lately, that's why I've not really been as active on YouTube because I've been spending the last few days just constantly working on my website and getting it published but I'm really happy with how it's turned out so hopefully you guys can maybe give me some feedback let me know what you like what you think could be improved about it and yeah just your thoughts really so that'd be really great if you could let me know what you think of that oh he's having a wash also fun fact all the animals in here are actually male that was not planned it just turned out that way so yeah, all of them are male, which is quite interesting as well because most of the animals outside are actually female, seeing as the majority of the guinea pigs are female. Sooty's just woke up as well, that's really good. Hello. See I've had the- oh he's going to escape. I've had these gerbils since December now and I was hoping to work on taming a bit more. Well he's probably going to climb in the guinea pig's cage. <laughs> So I was hoping to work on taming them a bit more, seeing as they've been here for quite a few months now, so yeah, and I think with rearranging the setup this is going to make it so much easier for me to interact with them and to watch them because gerbils are really great pets for watching rather than cuddling or handling as such, but they are so much fun, they're so entertaining to watch, so I'm quite happy with how things have turned out. They just had their habitat cleaned yesterday, so this is all brand new for them. <laughs> He's chewing up that toilet roll tube now. So that's pretty much all that I have to share with you. And I'm now going to be showing you how I make the ramp for the skinny pig's cage. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the tour and yeah, I'll just go and show you how I've made the ramp. <laughs> to make the ramp you're going to need a big block of wood, wider is better, so this size as opposed to this size. I need some garden border edging, which you can find at garden centres, then some different types of hooks these sort of hooks. A few CNC grids which will bend and possibly some pliers depending on how you want to bend it. Hot glue gun, scissors, cable ties and some fleece. Once you find a piece of wood that fits the length of the edging then you're good to go. Alternatively you can take these bits of wood off the wire and stick them on individually to make little ridges all the way up but because this one is fixed on, I'm just going to be leaving it as it is. The wire sticks out too much so the wood blocks aren't going to stick to the super glue or to the hot glue. So what I'm going to do is take this bit of wire stuff 
and I'm going to bend it round and then I'm going to hook it onto there and cable tie it. So you're going to want one of these, I don't know what they're called but <laughs> it looks like that and then you're going to want a small screw. So you can see this here, I'm just going to hook this bit of wire over there, then cable tie it. You can see there's two pre-drilled holes at the bottom here, I'm just going to hook these bits of wire through and then tie them on the other side. The ramp is finally finished. 